that has not been friendly to them. Harrison Butker kicks it deep and very deep through the end zone for a touchback. So Deshaun Watson and Clemson will take the field. Will teammates here to watch him? Last time he was on this field, the last Clemson regular season loss and the game in which he tore his knee up. A handoff on first down and a nice gain for that beleaguered Clemson ground attack. This is a real offense this year early. Well, they've got Wayne Gallman back, who had a tremendous year last year. Watson pressure, throws the screen to the tight end, and stumbling his way toward that first down mark, but stopped short Jordan Leggett. Nice tackle by the nickelback Lawrence Austin. Wayne Gallman, this should be a downhill look, an opportunity to run. Third down. Watson throws. It's caught for a first down, and that's their big play receiver. They got a few of them, but big number seven, Mike Williams, with the first and down. Well, they do go quick tempo. Another carry for Gallman. Without a lot of running room, he got a hard hit right at the line of scrimmage. Second and nine, just underway. First possession of the game, and an option look, but a pitch on an end around, and that's Ray Ray McLeod, who's got great speed and some power, too, into Georgia Tech territory he's a dynamic playmaker and they want to get McLeod has taken a big step forward this year and they do want to get him the ball Gallman again in the backfield Sean Watson on first down throws middle he's got his tight end again caught for another Clemson first down another time First and ten again. Gallman gets another carry with some room up the middle. Breaking tackles inside the 25 down close to the 21. McLeod will come in motion. They're going to pitch it to him again. This time running left with a first down and more. Inside the 10. Pushed out of bounds inside the 5. It'll be first and goal. And they got a great First and goal. Clemson on the move. He's going to throw a fade to the end zone. And a jump ball caught by Williams. Touchdown. And Mike. what a start, Jesse, for this Clemson offense. That's about as good. Defend. Greg Hugel will line up for the point after. Nine play, 75-yard drive, touchdown, and then the extra point is up and good. Clemson used for Laura Rutledge on this beautiful Atlanta Thursday night and a beautiful start for the Clemson. Tigers 7-0, go straight down the field, and get the ball first into the end zone. That connection to Sean Watson to Mike Williams. So now the Yellow Jackets will get the ball first. Hugo kicks off to J.J. Green, who is back deep to receive. And that one is well through the end zone for a touchback. So Georgia Tech will take over and have the ball for the first time with their senior quarterback, Justin Thomas, leading. That's an athletic Clemson defense. I think Coach Johnson agrees with you. Of all the great teams he's had at Georgia Southern, Navy, and now Georgia Tech running that offense, Thomas, the best passer of the bunch, and right away a tackle in the backfield. Christian Wilkins just came straight through to blow that play. True freshman, as they call it, be back, and that did not work. Now on the option, Thomas keeps. Got hit and got close to the original line of scrimmage. Dorian O'Daniel with the tackle. And a false start by their left guard. Will Bryan move? So third and longer now. Offense, number 70, five-yard penalty, third down. And in these situations, early in this season, Thomas back to pass, rolling out under pressure, gets away initially, and then just throws it away. Wow, took a hit at the end of it as well. Yeah, right. A night in this stadium, the history they've had recently against Clemson here. I think Georgia Tech fans really feeling like an upset was a distinct possibility. So far, has not started well for them. Ray Ray McLeod breaks a tackle. McLeod to midfield. Now the ball comes out. A Clemson player on special teams recovered the ball. So that's not going to be a turnover. I do think they ruled it as the ball coming out. The great field position. Galvin, a fake. Watson keeps. Watson straight ahead running inside the 40. Now let's <laughs> all quarterbacks like that, Laura. Well, he got a little dirty on that last run. Watson with a good pocket. Now going deep, right sideline, incomplete. Intended for Artavis Scott. Lawrence Austin had third and three. Watson keeps. Watson has big room and a first down and more. 
Knocked down inside the 30. He is so good at that. Yeah, George. We saw that over and over again. A slant to Williams caught for a gain on first down. Only Greg Ward Jr. of Houston. We're going to option it and pitch it out to Adam Choice, who got knocked out of bounds short of the first down. Watson will throw, and it is caught, and that is Leggett for a first down. This is good news. They're getting jo Jordan Leggett. Yeah, one catch all year, as you mentioned. There's another nice run, this time Adam Choice. The guy you could argue is the best pass-catching tight end in all of college to see. A good block from the running back, and another ball to the end zone. Williams, no, incomplete. He caught it, but apparently was out of bounds. Yeah, I think it was his left foot. That one, yeah, right on the money, can't throw better. Third and five, ninth play of the drive. They'll go back toward Williams, incomplete, no flag. Williams was looking for one, Steph Durham with the coverage. Yeah, good coverage. That number, he has been money from inside 40 yards. A very reliable field goal kicker. 27-yard attempt, it is up and it is no good. So much for that. And that's a boost for the Yellow Jackets. Well, now they're going to throw on first down, down the field, incomplete. This is going to be a big key for Georgia. Mills, that fullback, B-back, right behind Thomas, and they will fake it to him. Option play, and just nowhere to go. Thomas took a big hit. Cleveland Farrell's been everywhere. And they did that, third and ten. Thomas back to pass again, pressured again, going down. But right now, this is a mismatch. Number 94. Game day, we see. Not good enough. They only lost five <laughs> yards on that drive. A high punt, fair catch signal, McLeod. And he makes it just short of midfield. Clemson. From a playoff or shot at a national championship. Watson with Gallman alongside. They'll give it to their tailback, Wayne Gallman, who gets stuffed. Enough power to surge ahead for a gain of a yard or so. Rod, just one of several keys playing this ultra-talented Clemson offense. Second and long with a little pass rush and a hit as he threw. Is that complete? It is. Caught by Cornell. And off Gallman trying to pick his way forward. And Georgia Tech, at least on the run side of things, has looked like on defense they are starting to settle in. And they're going to have to gauge from blocks and make plays. Second down, play fake. Watson taking a shot down the sideline. Williams incomplete. And there was contact, but no penalty flag. Yeah, there was a lot of contact. And Lance off. They get the play snapped. Watson rolling right. Throws on the move. He's got his man McLeod for a first down. Breaking tackles inside the 30. Deshaun Watson, I think, is outstanding throwing on the run, whether it be to his right or his left. And you mentioned earlier about Ray Ray McLeod, Dave. I think he so another third down conversion. The fake pitch. They gave it to McLeod coming from the right side for a gain of three. That's Corey. Rolling right. Watson looking downfield. He's got a man wide open. Caught. And out of bounds. Just short. Travion Thompson. And goal. Gallman. Takes the handoff. Gallman. End zone touchdown. I think you have to give Clemson's defense a lot of credit so far because they've forced two three and outs. Junked it. He has had a problem with PATs. This one is perfect. No problem there. And time throwing the ball. They've looked good firing off the ball, opening up holes for Wayne Gallman and these other runners. It's been impressive so far. Georgia Tech will get the ball for the third time now. A low kickoff and it goes out of bounds. So that's a mistake that will help the Yellow Jackets. They need all the help they can get because the Clemson defense so far, Jesse's been overwhelming. Yeah. And obviously, that needs to improve. Marcus Marshall gets the carry straight ahead. And there's a positive gain. Only three yards, but it's something. Well, the issue is have to do. And you mentioned the three pillars of the triple option. Another dive play. That's sort of always option number one. Scott Pagano was there to make a tackle. Not been able to do that here in this first quarter. Thomas back to pass. This time he does have time. He throws and incomplete. Knocked away. Here comes a penalty flag. Go behind the play. Defense, number 23, 15-yard penalty. First down. I think that's the right call. I mean, Justin Thomas had Cersei. Worst first down of the game for Tech. Marshall, once again, that fullback. They're going to pitch it left side. And 
looked like there was a hole. It closed up quickly. Dorian O'Dan. The Krispy Kreme call on this <laughs> defensive play, personally. But it's tasty. <laughs> it's something tasty. Second and eight. Under center. And off. No, a pitch play. Left side and well defended again. This time, Van Smith with a clean tackle and hit. Georgia Tech across midfield, but third and long. Pressure to screen set up to Marshall, who sort of stumbled, and he's going to be caught from behind. You can't slow down against the speed of the Clemson defense. Carlos Watkins, Ben Boulware were both there. Great field possession like they've been throughout the entire first quarter. Because penalty yards don't count as total offense, they still have negative yardage for the game. End over end punt. And a pretty good one inside the 10. Inside the 5, down and around the 2. So that was good execution. Simmons. Gallman the tail back in the end zone. They go from the shotgun. Gallman maybe got a yard. Maybe not. Potential disaster on the outside of receiver. Well, I do think they have to take some chances. Another handoff, and again, not much running room. Gallman up to the four. Grant Mitchell, a middle linebacker, in on the tackle. Yeah, and, you know, here's where if, I think if you're Georgia Tech, you need someone to win up front on the defensive line in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. They have not been a great pass rushing defense early. Third and eight, play fake. Here comes a rush into the end zone. That ball incomplete, knocked away, intended for Scott. But no pressure, but not a real great punt. It's going to bounce, though. Stewart couldn't get up there, and that cost Georgia Tech some field position. The end result is a good one for Clemson. What up? <laughs> <laughs> the bilingual elementary education of Jesse Palmer. Thomas kept it and got a yard on first down. Yeah, just think to last year, they could not move the ball on the ground against Clemson. Thomas hand off that beat back. There was a hole and close to the first down, Diedrich Mills. Yeah, a little bit. Mills, the fullback. And they hand it to Mills, trying to push his way forward, and they did get it. That is the first first down other than the penalty, 70. First down at the Clemson 40. Thomas, the fake, the pitch, and the defense right there. The hit in the backfield on Quay Searcy. Get that block on. They lost four yards. Back to pass, pressured immediately, dumps it down, and they lost yardage there. Going backwards, Clinton Lynch, who's going to get down to the 30. Thomas throws. That will be incomplete. Hit the turf. Yeah, and those were the types of plays that Georgia Tech came part of the field this time maybe not quite as perfect still though just inside the 10 that's where Clemson will have the ball the talk of championship in town over at East Lake so Matt Kuchar decided to come to a football game Sean Watson and Clemson their offense back on the field second down and short you think Kuchar, what a hundred years or, or maybe more and Matt Kuchar got himself a medal McLeod drops it and Georgia Tech playing the ball like it might have been a backwards pass, but I, I think it was clearly forward. That should be an incompletion. Yeah, the no. official third and short, and Watson on an option-style play will get the first down. They did overturn the call on the field. We thought it was pretty obvious. And we've seen this year. Swing pass. McLeod hangs on to this one. A nice cut up field. It breaks a tackle. McLeod close to the first down. And this often wants and makes good decisions. Yeah, it's a good point. And it's really an extension of their run game, just like that play is. Deion Kane uh, with his first catch. It's impressive to watch. So Gainesville, Georgia, just up the road from here in Atlanta. Big gain up the middle. Adam Choice, first down and more outside the 45 to the 48-yard line for six. So they haven't quite put the game away. Watson keeps to midfield and avoids the hit by going out of bounds. Yeah, really. They oh, that's a huge weapon. We saw it in the college football playoff last year. A little screenplay set up. Choice is a powerful runner. Into Georgia. Four years recruiting Deshaun Watson and got him. And it, I mean, look, Clemson had a great program. Deshaun Watson has changed the program. As good as they were, he gets close to a first down. Freshman year when he played sparingly and then got injured. Looks like Deshaun Watson got enough. Gallman back in as the tailback. That pass is caught. 
quick tackle, but a nice positive well, gain on first down. It's another run pass option. That was supposed to be a run inside. Now pressure, and Watson for the first time is going down. Patrick Gamble got there and got the sack. Third down and nine. Tech almost jumped. Already the 12th play of this drive. Well, cat and mouse game. Deshaun Watson wanted to audible because there was an all-out blitz look. He kind of slowed down, and now Georgia Tech has gotten out of the blitz look. And the play clock's working down. Nice job by Georgia. Gallman picks up the blitz. Watson goes deep, and it is incomplete. There was more contact there. Clemson wants the flag. It never came. Though consistent, and I think they've, they've done that so far. Clemson trying to pin Georgia Tech deep fair catch signal and made by Brad Stewart Arnold pushed around USC will see if they can do it to the Bruins a swing pass and that is dropped and ruled incomplete but they get the playoff and Mills with a forward game that's why you, you can't blow the play dead though yeah. that's been hard to do back to pass pressured throwing incomplete nobody there you know, pressure. Georgia Tech's going to punt the ball back to Clemson, trailing 14 nothing with just under four minutes to go in the first half. And pressure on that punt. Cloud comes up, takes it at midfield. What a good move. And he only got five yards, but great field position for Clemson. The way they do in that movie when they use the ice chipper on the ice block. That's old school. Got to muddle some fruit. So you're going with the movie. Here's a nice catch by McLeod in traffic inside the 20. Watson, a little shoulder fake. Now he's throwing toward the end zone again, incomplete. Led McLeod maybe just a little too yeah, far. That says a lot about how they feel about McLeod. Watson goes short left to Williams with a blocker in front. Slips one tackle out of bounds. And I think just short of the first down. And two tight ends in now on third and two. Watson designed quarterback keep and he go forward. I think he got there. Yeah, do you agree? I think the, the, the game has dictated that. Now a, pla a flag is thrown and Clemson moved. Ball start. Offense. Number 63. Five yard penalty. First down. Watson. Threw it to the defense. Intercepted at the goal line, and then the ball comes out. And Georgia Tech pounces on it. Lance Austin with the interception, and there was just a miscommunication. Yeah, we feel is the pass was intercepted, returned into the field of play, fumbled back into the end zone, recovered by the defensive team, safety. Wow. And I thought so. Yeah. I thought it was a possibility, and I think, I think that's the right call. Swing, it's two points, and you give it right back to Clemson. So that free kick, pretty deep, taken by Scott, and he'll bring it out close to the 30-yard line. Well, ability than everybody else. So Clemson gets the ball back. That's a rare incompletion. They haven't had many of those. Ray Ray McLeod. Couldn't quite catch it. Watson keeps it, kind of picking his way forward. Not a lot of running room out to the 33 to set up third down. Yeah, nice job by PJ. The backfield, they snap it at five. That quick hitter left side, McLeod again, another Clemson first down. Yeah, it's just two. first downs. They have twice as many first downs as Georgia Tech has yards. Yards. Gallman screenplay set up nicely using his blockers nicely into Georgia Tech territory. That's one of the things right there I really like about Deshaun. Clemson in the first half. That's first and 12 that from the spot of the foul they move it back 10 yards. Still with two timeouts plenty of time to get into scoring position. Watson downfield caught and there is that true freshman Powell making up for the penalty perhaps. Another Clemson first down and he gets out five seconds it rolls on the snap now over the middle nice catch mike williams breaks a tackle inside the 20 still on his feet to the 15 and down to the 13 yard line yeah the, well, there was a the ball that he that throw no before doubt. no doubt 
First down, swing play, Gallman right side, Gallman lowers those shoulders inside the five. Now they have the two timeouts, and they'll use one of them here inside the five. Watson, some pressure tried to come, but it was picked up, and the pass is incomplete. On the hands of Dion last year, wasn't allowed to play. Now the drops start to pile up, and they will fake the handoff. Watson keeps and tackled right at the line of scrimmage. Big tackle by Victor Alexander. A play into the end zone, try to get eyes if the ball doesn't go in that direction. Just based on what we've seen. Watson. And there is a flag. Somebody. Ball start. Offense. Number 63. Five yard penalty. Third down. I was just saying a second ago. Coverage now. Don't have to play man to man. Make this more difficult on Deshaun Watson. Watson looking end zone. Throws. He's got a man. His tight end caught. Jordan Leggett for the Clemson touchdown. And that's Jordan Leggett, a tight end, playing wide receiver. And it's a safety. You got to give the ball back. Would have been 14-0 with the ball. Instead, the extra point to make it 23-0. Up and good. I mean, the interception cost him nine points. No doubt about it. That is tough to swallow. Over and over again. A year ago, they, they, they run that power play where they pull that backside guard. They play with three offensive linemen. Well, they squib it here on the ground, and it's Georgia Tech falling on the ball. No time ticked off the clock there. So whether Georgia Tech just takes a knee isn't good news for UCLA. A handoff straight ahead. And the best play of the first half for Georgia Tech will be the final play of the first half. And made a few big plays, but... Not nearly enough against the high-powered Tigers. J.J. Green will bring it out from the end zone with nowhere to go. Not a good decision. More poor field position for Georgia Tech. And let's go downstairs to Laura Rutledge. Assignment, not play as assignment, and it's a big one. Flag thrown. They give it to the fullback, Mills. Offside. Defense. Number 42. Line up in the neutral zone. Five-yard penalty. First down. Give Clemson's D line a ton of credit. So first and five, Thomas under center. Again, the handoff to the fullback. Mills gets close. Stopped by Boulware, just short of a first down. Third yards. He scored the winning touchdown late against BC in the opener. Scored three touchdowns last week against Vanderbilt. Got hit hard, but right at the mark. Dexter Lawrence. Tackle. This guy's pretty good, too. He's kind of the only other guy that comes to mind as having this big of an impact on that side of the ball. Thomas keeps. Thomas finds a little opening, and that's a nice gain outside the 25 to the 28. Yeah, he's a fin Gave him the chance to be a quarterback, and that's why he came to Tech after committing to Alabama. He's going to play defensive back for the Crimson Tide. Close to the first down. Tackle by Kent. Dates. That was Dak Prescott. They spent a lot of that year as the top-ranked team in the country. A pitch play going nowhere. Back backwards by a yard. Dorian O'Daniel. Second and 11. They pitch it out to Mills. Hit that hole very quickly. Flag thrown out into the open. Mills trying to cut it back inside the 30. And we'll see if it's all coming back. Holding. Offense. Number 71. 10-yard penalty. Second down. Finally, something to be. So the huge gain negated, second and 19, and they'll pitch it out with room out in front. Cut back across the 30, so they get the penalty yardage back. Clinton Lynch. Yeah, that time they get a good... Thomas, little fake, and here comes the pressure. Goes down immediately, it's number six again. What a night for Dorian O'Daniel. Second in the nation, averaging 25 yards per return. There's one way to help against that, a fair catch. Boys, a shout out. I guess when you play like this, you can look up at the camera. First down pass play. Artavis Scott for the nice game. Yeah, pedal to the metal right now for Gallman. Gets the carry. Nowhere to go. And he stopped well short of the first down. In Clemson history last season. That one was not a great pass. Incomplete. Looked like to me he threw it a little behind Artavis Scott. Yeah. Punt 
inside the 10, taken by Stewart, brings it upfield, made one man miss, made a second miss, and gets out to the 25 yard line. Some good looks. It, it is. There, there's no other team that in recent history has been able to do what they've done. Figure it out and stop it like they have. Thomas kept it and got swarmed. And maybe part of it is excellent when they play against the Yellow Jackets. And he, he schemes the defense. Thomas goes down to the backfield. And that makes the coordinator happy. He also runs scout team quarterback. I mean, he literally is the quarterback when yeah. they scout. And the secondary up front. That was movement in the middle of the line. Scott Pagano, was he drawn? Defense, number 56, five-yard penalty, third down. You see Brent Venables up. <laughs> Totally necessary. Thomas looking to throw. Pressure. And he just throws it away. Took another hit. Dorian O'Daniel. Low punt. McLeod has a chance for a return. Showing off the moves that have made him so dangerous. But ultimately, he goes down. Not many coaches in college football. Engineering lab. You really want to know? Yeah. As an ancient Greek language major. I would never have guessed that. You Watson, that sprint left, and you said it early in the game. He throws so accurately on the move to both sides. Yeah, he really does. And it much more Deshaun Watson kind of night. Stumbling ahead, and Wayne Gallman gets a couple yards. And they stuffed Dalvin Cook. That crosser is caught, and Scott tried to bounce it to the outside, got pushed back. Now this. This will depend on where they spot it. Good hands. I'm surprised they're punting as well as their defense is playing. Me too. No fake. He's going to punt it. End over end and a fair catch at the 11. Jordan Tech will have the ball. Position which was just chaos last year. Pitch play with a penalty flag thrown. Gain of three, maybe four to Marcus Marshall. I think. Rich defense number 49 five yard penalty first down scenarios Justin Thomas has had no shot first and five he is going to throw back pedaling toward the goal line looking for somewhere to go with the ball now throws on the run incomplete and again just better coverage in the back end by Clemson on the sideline about giving him a chance off to that fullback and the tumble over the defender gets him at least a little closer to the first down short by a cup in that orange bowl the college football semifinal a dominant win against Oklahoma 32 a pitch play first down and more for Georgia Tech and that's one of their better plays of the night pass yards in the game we're nearing the end of the third quarter might have been a little bit of a missed assignment, but they get the positive yardage through the air anyway, complete to Ricky June. Paul Johnson and battle is a little more forceful. Now whistles blow. He's returning kicks for touchdowns. He leads college football in tackles for loss. There's a nice gain out into the open field. Marcus Marshall near midfield. First down, Georgia Tech. When they've run Nearing a minute to go in the third quarter. Thomas. And off. Marshall. And some positive yards. Even if it's. Marshall, the fullback. A little misdirection there. The pitch. Or a gain out to the 46 yard line. Yard. Just across midfield. Clemson might have jumped, and then Georgia Tech jumped. Five. Defense, number 94, five-yard penalty, first down. And so on a critical... To run the ball to get that yard, a yard has not been easy tonight. Thomas on first down to pass, steps up and throws deep, and intercepted. At the goal line, there is a penalty flag. The return for Marcus Edmund. He's shoved out of bounds, short of the 20. Defense, number 29, 15-yard penalty. First down. Well, it, it's a good call because you'll see Evan. He actually pushes Ricky June. Watch right here. There's a push in the back, shoves him away. And when I was watching that in real time, I'm wondering why June's not coming back and fighting for the football. Well, that's why. He kind of tries behind Thomas. He'll give it to Diedrich Mills. That's a tough running from the true freshman down to the 20. Yeah, Georgia Tech's now without Shamir. 
system, they've not always needed the biggest, strongest physically offensive lines to succeed. There's a big hole to the 10, to the 5, and inside the 5, Diedrich Mills. Mission even one time, you give up a big play. First and goal to the end zone, touchdown. Diedrich Mills, who had three of them last week. And that shutout streak will continue. Tech is on the get a lot of those touchdowns in his Tech career. Extra point up and good. And I tell you what, 13-21 on the clock for as lopsided as this. Including this one here from Atlanta where Georgia Tech is trying to put some pressure on the Tigers. 23-7. Touchback. Clemson comes back on the field and we'll go back to Lawrence. of the game when he spends so much time on the sidelines. Watson pitches it to Gallman. Gallman uh, for a first down and a few extra yards on top of it. I love the play call. It's been rotated some bodies. They have a, a fairly inexperienced line anyway. Gallman this time straight ahead. Yeah, he is an angry, violent. He was chomping at the bit. Play fake. Watson keeping it. Watson took a hit and got shoved out of bounds by A.J. Gray, a yard short of the first down. Yeah, well, the thing out of the timeout. Watson, fake, and Watson gets away, but not enough. Stop short. Well, that's an important point you make. I mean, the, the Tech defense has been better, and their offense has been better since halftime. Zell's trying to angle that punt. That was ugly. Fair catch at around the 16-yard line. And the last time they had the ball, it was really the simplest part of the triple option, the play they were having success on. But I think Paul Johnson was able to make some adjustments in pulling offensive line here in fourth quarter. And the point you make, not all dives are created equal. They're going to have him throw the ball downfield, intercepted. And they tried to get fancy, and that was not a good pass. Van Smith picks it off. Clemson gets the ball. Gallman going backwards. That run defense. For the Yellow Jackets, Ted Roof pumped up on the sidelines. Yeah, he looked like a superstar. He hadn't been healthy, but they need him to be a stud along the line. That pass is low. Yeah. Skips intended for Powell. You know. Third and 11. Showing some pressure. Here comes pressure. Watson going backwards. And he throws the ball downfield incomplete. Intended for Powell. Oh, I think it's a good no call. Well, this one would tie a career high, 47 yards, and it is good for Greg and Hugel. They get the turnover, and they turn it into three points. I'm sure they would have hoped for a little more than that, but the field goal makes it 26-7 to Clemson here in Atlanta against a team that's been Louisville-Clemson matchup. Tigers just trying to make sure they take care of business here tonight. Again, they dominated in the first half. Second, second half has been different. Touchback. Georgia. And it's not easy to do against Florida State, a team that's loaded with athletes. Wide open receiver. Pass caught by Stewart and dances out. Right around 30 to go. Same play. About as hurry up as Georgia Tech gets. Back shoulder throw, and it was dropped. Ricky June had a chance to catch it. He got his hands on the ball. Yeah, and interesting how many talented receivers they've had come through the program. Right side running, trying to pick his way forward. There just wasn't much there that time for J.J. Green. Yeah, and you're seeing Paul Johnson now dig deep. Be the part of the play that works. Back to pass. Pressured. Thomas goes down. Ryan Carter, defensive back. There you go, Jesse. You've been talking about this clutch of deep gain in the past game, and then the drop, which was so costly. And did that. Punt taken with a fair catch inside the 20. Offense finish. Gallman gets the handoff on first down. The defense got another stop. And gets the ball back. Watson looking to throw. Pressured. On the run, Watson will get the first down and go out of bounds. You know, I think that's a throw there that Deshaun Watson needed to enough pull the trigger. I think you're right, because I think when Watson was coming back to the line of scrimmage, he was tapping his chest saying, my bad. I should have thrown that one. I think he was unhappy. 
Well, and, you know, and that's a real thing. I mean, remember, Mike Williams. Ray Ray McLeod, and he's been really impressive. So that combination, maybe you develop McLeod as for Watson. He's got a good look here. There's nobody deep for Georgia Tech. Leggett went in motion. Watson looking in Williams' direction, incomplete. And it was not intended. You can see the improvement this year for Tech. They are going to be a better team. That went out to the freshman Cordell Powell. That's a mistake by a young freshman receiver guys hungry knowing they need to improve Watson throws the screen Gallman across midfield stop short of the first down but that's a big story too you know I do think Clemson should we're 29 to go fair catch at around the 15 yard line what is a good UCLA defensive line improved maybe no defensive line better than Texas A&M at least from a pass rush standpoint Thomas heaving it deep and knocked away incomplete. Intended for Ricky June, Marcus Edmond, 10. And off straight ahead. You know, that's a great point you make about the next great one, mate. Super, super talented. And those two big young guys, and Wilkins is a sophomore, but Wilkins and Lawrence, that is a heck of a combo up front. You know what's also great about this D line is they've got. Tech is going for it. like a wishbone formation handoff and that defensive line stands up again guess, he didn't get there well guess who and it was Dexter Lawrence that got the first big challenge for Clemson's D Watson is still in this game a little flip fake mm. and incomplete he had a man you know on the right side caught by Cornell Powell you know a, a play ago we saw Deshaun Watson miss another under two minutes to go third and six and a little flip to Powell and Right dives forward, and I think he got there. Down, so let's give down. Dabo Sweeney. Saturday will end up being the big one. Straight ahead running Gallman by a big margin. Under a minute to go, keeping the ball on the ground. Adam Choice. It's kind of the world we live in, and it's a good thing, particularly inside one conference. Just a huge game. And this was a big one for him. They had not won here in more than a decade. But in Atlanta, Clemson finally gets a victory against Paul Johnson and company. Yeah, you know, you, you take wins any way you can, obviously. And there's a lot of coaching up for Dabo Swinney to do. Got to clean up the penalties. They had too many today. They had 10. There's the miscommunication between Deshaun Watson and Mike Williams on a pick. Miss a field goal. You find those coaching points. But I think all, all in all, in all three facets, I think, I think you're probably feeling as good as you felt all year for Clemson right before the biggest challenge they'll have.